कहने मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर गेट एन आई टी जॉब मैनी पीपुल आर हैविंग द सेम थाट इन माइंड बट द आंसर इज स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड येस यू विल गेट एन आई टी जॉब बट आर यू कंटिन्यू विथ योर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग और यू हैव ग्रेजुएटेड नो रीज वेदर यू आर कंटिन्यूइंग या यू हैव डन विथ योर ग्रेजुएशन यू कैन गेट अ जॉब इन आई टी फील्ड बट द क्वेश्चन इज हियर हाउ बिफोर गोइंग टू द आंसर Guys if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and move on to the answer first right you are continuing with your mechanical engineering means you have time in your hand means whether you are in third year or fourth year so you have sufficient amount of time you can spend those time in learning it skills right so apart from your semester exams you can get some free time and try to learn these it skills means which it skills again the question right so uh, it skills you choose as per your choice there are a lot of profiles in it industry you can say data science artificial intelligence cloud computing then we have full stack developer yeah software engineering like software developer we have testing profiles back end developer bi developer so like this there are a lot of profiles in it industry you can choose as per your wish and you can start learning that skills If you are in doubt means which profile I should choose then forget about profile just try to learn any of this programming language you can learn java python dot net any programming language and at least any database like uh, sql or oracle and at least one front end technology like you can learn html and uh, javascript then uh, there are many companies who conduct off campus drive you can take uh, example of tcs info and cts mind tree so there are many multinational company they conduct off campus trip so you can register in their career site and uh, uh, you can appear for the written examination they conduct in aptitude reasoning english and some technical knowledge also right once you have cleared that exam they will call you for personal interview there they will check your um, uh, like technical skills and personal skills and they uh, will hire you and uh, after this they will give training to you like in different technology then once you, you have clear your training or like you have uh, you have done with your training program then they will give you a profile so like the, they may give a profile data science uh, artificial intelligence or yeah, full stack developer as per your skill set they will assign you a project and you can work on that so this is one way of moving from mechanical engineering to it right next move on to the next one that is you have done with your mechanical engineering right so in this period you may or may not have your it skills right i am assuming you don't have any it skills so what next then choose the technology as per your interest like uh, in uh, nowadays you will see like data science uh, ya yeah, cloud computing artificial intelligence machine learning full stack developer or uh, devops engineer like this there are a lot of profiles so you can choose as per your interest and uh, uh, then just go to a good institute and start your training right once you have done with your training then just uh, like uh, give start giving interview in uh, different it companies so it will take little time then you will get a job right so uh, we have discussed like uh, how uh, what are the two ways how we can move uh, from mechanical engineering to it field and uh, i hope you got your answer right uh, whether you can move to it field or not and uh, uh, that's it uh, this is the information i just wanted to share with you guys and if you like the video uh, guys please subscribe to my channel and thank you very much for watching this video